uh, we had a little weak cold front push through the eastern part of the state while uh, we were all asleep overnight here. You can see with the arrows, the wind vectors coming from the top to the bottom of your screen. That means there's a northerly wind out there. It's not too strong. It's 5 to 15 miles per hour for the most part, but it certainly is putting a little chill in the air. We are in the teens and 20s this morning in the high country and for the most part on the western slope. Eastern Plains primarily in the 30s or low to mid 40s. It's 45 in Colorado Springs, 36 in Boulder and Fort Collins. Pam, our weather watcher in Littleton, uh, 39. She says she can see Orion over the foothills. Our snow count continues to climb. Unfortunately, today is day 226 since the last measurable snow at the airport. We will definitely tie and beat the second place over the weekend, and then we make a run for the first place, I'm sad to say, which would take uh, place sometime next week. We have two chances for snow in the forecast. We'll see how it all shakes out. No precipitation on the radar and nothing on the future cache. Just a couple of mid and high level clouds will pass through today. Otherwise, it's going to be dry and quiet. It will be cooler than yesterday, but still well above normal for this time of the year. Our weather pattern is changing finally a big, big, big pool of cold air over can uh, Canada is going to start to sag to the south next week and it will influence our weather starting Monday. You'll see that here in the five day forecast 60s today or right around 60. I should say sunny skies, but cooler 60s and 50s pretty much statewide. No matter where you go from the mountains to the plains, it'll be a fairly uniform day in our state 64 for Saturday, sunny and mild little cooler Sunday uh, McKenzie 55. It will be windy. And there you go, down to the 40s Monday and Tuesday, actually below normal for a change. And we still have the hope for a couple of snow showers in Denver, either very late Monday or early on Tuesday.